Hi, I'm Scott, and this is how I store my soda. And today I'm going to show you how I can organize it and store it better on Dad It Yourself. So I just wanted to record this for historical purposes and uh, let everybody know that this is a 4x8 sheet of sandy plywood, 3 quarter inch. And it costs $75. So we'll look back on this and laugh someday. So I picked up a full sheet of plywood for this project, but it doesn't use a whole sheet. It really depends on if you're doing a single column or a double width or even a triple width on how much wood you're going to use. And that's up to you. But I'll have a set of measured drawings and plans available on my website and on Etsy if you're interested in building one of these for yourself. So here is the plywood all broken down, and as you can see, it's really only two widths. You got the two sides, and then these four or five pieces, I think it's five, are all the shelves, the front, the top, and the back. So let's start breaking these down into smaller pieces. So the next step, I'm going to build the shelves. So here's a shelf bottom, and here's a shelf front, and it just goes right on the front like this and provides a little lip to keep the soda cases from sliding out the front. And I'm going to use 18 gauge brad nails and a little bit of glue, and that should be it. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and install the top and the bottom shelf on here and then put the other side on so I'm working with a box and then I'll lay out where the shelves go. I already know where they're going to go but lay them out so I know where to shoot my nails. So I created these little boards out of scrap, a little notch for this front lip. And what they do is they give me the spacing. And what the spacing has to be is there has to be five and a quarter inches between this lip and the next shelf because the case of soda is just about five and an eighth inches tall. So it can slide in there and then drop down. Last step, the back. So a couple of things about this. Uh, I use brad nails and glue. I probably could have got away with just brad nails. Uh, screws and glues, screws only. I mean, you can construct this however you want. Uh, half inch plywood, probably just as strong enough. Just make an adjustment for the dimensions, but really all the normal dimensions should fit, whether it's half inch plywood, MDF, or whatever material you choose. A uh, question or a comment about safety. If you have small children in your house, consider anchoring this to a back of the wall. There's a lot of weight on this, and if they're climbing up to get something, it could fall over and hurt them. Um, I would suggest also putting your less popular stuff down at the bottom so it remains bottom heavy and it gets lighter towards the top as you start checking your favorite ones out. So you're probably going to ask why. Well, for one, that shelf probably wasn't strong enough to hold 14 of these. Two, this design takes advantage of the 
perforated dispensing points on the box so that someone won't be tearing into the box like some rabid animal heathen and act like a civilized person when they're getting their soda out. The advantage to this one too with this design, a standard size 12 pack box fits in this way as well. And you can still access the dispenser. Where's the dispenser on this one? It's in this corner right here. So it would be like that on that corner. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about this build or any other build, put those down in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell. If there's anything I did in this video that you think deserves special attention, think about giving me a super thanks or becoming a channel member. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Doubt it yourself.